Hi, welcome to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith. And I've been saying that for four years now. And I've been able to keep saying that for the past two years full time because of your financial support. And so I'm here once again to ask for that support as we try to make a fifth season of Watch It Played happen. And yes, I've got perks to give away to people who back. And we'll talk about those in just a little bit. But first, I want to give you a quick overview of the past year. We did 26 Table Talk episodes, 18 product previews, 25 news and update episodes, two live question and answers, and 17 videos of Gamma coverage. But of course, the core and the focus of the show are the instructional and playthrough episodes, and we did 78 videos of those. That's more than the previous year. In fact, in the year previous, we taught 23 different games, and this past year, we upped that to 32. So if you've ever wondered, with the growth of the show, you know, is Rodney's focus going to change? Obviously, I want to add new things into the show. I want to create more variety. But the numbers, I believe, help show that we're still more us than ever before. So on average, a new video goes up on the channel once every two days. And I have to confess, it can be, <laughs> it can be a little nerve-wracking knowing that the vast majority of one's income for the year is dependent on a fundraiser and people's generosity. But at the same time, it's pretty satisfying knowing that the content I get to create is being supported and made possible by people who are watching it and appreciating it and wanting it to continue. So it means that when I'm creating content, I know where my priorities are. It's with the people who watch the show and who are gonna be watching it in the future. And that's something that's pretty motivating. So if the show has been of value to you in the past, if it's helped you find a great game or maybe avoid one that wouldn't have been a good fit for you, if it's helped you learn a game or help your friends learn a game so you didn't have to teach them, if it's made you laugh, if it's made you roll your eyes at my many, many mistakes, then I would ask you to consider donating to our fundraiser so we can keep doing that for another year. If you look at the fundraiser page, we have a bunch of different perks that you can select and some stretch goals. I've tried to keep things very simple this year. I've set a fundraiser goal that will help sustain the show, but do keep in mind, the tax man takes a big chunk of that, so do the fees from Indiegogo, and of course, shipping out the rewards and that sort of thing. So really, being able to go beyond that initial goal helps give me some breathing room financially for the year, which is really great. And in the long run, I would like to be able to bring on some support to help me with the show because there's just so many games out there to cover and so little of me. <laughs> so so that would be really something helpful that I'll be able to consider in the future as the show grows financially. But either way, let's take a look at some of those perks. I have some mock-ups here. I'm going to go back to the table and uh, share some of them with you. This year I wanted to find a couple of perks that I could use to acknowledge the community that has grown up around Watch It Played. So I was pretty thrilled when Ignacy of Portal Games allowed me to design a promo card for Imperial Settlers all about the viewers. This is a, um, an enlarged version of it that I printed myself. Uh, let's go to the table though and I'll show it to you in a little more detail. Sometimes as gamers who use videos like the ones on Watch It Played and other great media creators that are out there, when we go and grab a new game, we're often ready to sit down and just start playing. But if we haven't done our research in advance and try to do that, well, it could be a bit of a train wreck. My hope is that this card would capture that idea. And that's why it's called the Watcher's Guild, as a thank you to all of you Watch It Played viewers who've been with us for these past several years. This guild provides you with an action that may be used twice. You spend a worker, and then you draw and reveal a card. If you have the resources to build it, then you do so immediately and gain two victory points. If you don't, you return it to the top of the appropriate deck. So again, if you've taken the time to prepare, if you've gathered up a variety of resources, when you dive into constructing that building, you're gonna be all set to go. And you get some additional points for pushing your luck a little. Imperial Settlers is a game that's been on my schedule to feature on the channel, and hopefully we can get to that soon. Jamie Stegmeyer from Stonemeyer Games came up with another fantastic way to integrate the theme and community of our series into a promo for Euphoria, that game about a dystopian future. This one asks the player to choose. Will you participate in the game or watch it played? When Jamie showed me this, I just thought it was perfect. A big thank you to him for coming up with this great idea. 
A very popular promo card last year was the Dead of Winter Lucky Luke card. And once again, our friends at Plat Hat Games and the amazing, amazing Fernando Suarez have created and drawn a great crossroad card. This time for the other player who appeared at the table during our playthrough, Andrea. Andrea loves to snowboard and this artwork captures that. And the effect forces you to make a choice, which is always a lot of fun during the game. My terrible printer doesn't do justice to the artwork, but you can see it here on screen. And this picture, along with the one that was used for the Lucky Luke promo, has now been included with the digital prints that we're offering to give away as well. And you can find out more details about that on our fundraiser page. This year, Pep and I did a rules overview and playthrough for Bottom of the Ninth. And the gang over at Dice Hate Me Games, by way of thanks, created a Rodney promo card that comes in the base game. And then also created this promo for Pep for us to give away during the fundraiser. It's been great to be able to have Pep appear on more shows during this previous season, and I hope he can do some more during this upcoming season as well. And now you can play out a game between the two of us and Bob the Ninth, just like we did in our video. I should mention we also have the promos that we offered from last year as well, if you're interested. I'm fairly confident we won't run out, but see the fundraiser page where we talk about the potential for limited quantities. Whenever we offer promos, I like to share a quick disclaimer because I know that promos can whip some gamers into a real frenzy. And the idea behind these is not to compel collectors to donate to our series to complete some collection they're trying to make at home. And I, I do understand that motivation. I know it's strong for some people. But the idea behind these is to be a small token of appreciation. This is a, um, this is a little piece of cardboard, not nearly equivalent to the donation that people are making that are receiving them. But my hope is that these are more than just the cardboard, that it's a meaningful connection to our series, that this is a game that you've watched played, that the people pictured in it mean something to you. And so when you receive it, it's something that's special to you. And, and that's the reason why we offer them. And I hope, I hope that that's the benefit that you receive from getting these. I also wanna share with you another perk Last year we had the 2015 gaming calendar, and this time we have the 2016 Watch It Played gaming calendar, again from Scott King, the very talented and skilled photographer. All new pictures in here, let's take a quick look. I'm not going to, I guess, spoil all of the pictures in this calendar, but again, I chose these all based on games that we featured on our channel at one time or another. And I think you'll be proud to display this commemoration of not just the games that we've played together, but the hobby that we shared. Oh, I'm particularly proud of this picture here. The last final perk that I'll talk about here in this video is the dice tray that we've used on this show in a variety of different videos. And basically, this is just a picture frame that I uh, converted into a dice tray by removing the glass and putting a little felt in the bottom. But I've always thought it was the perfect size and depth for chucking dice into. And I like this thicker ledge here for stacking dice up on when you need to do re-rolls or compare attack to defense values and that sort of thing. And I think quite a few of you have liked this design because I frequently get asked, Rodney, where did you get that dice tray? Well, now you can get your own. Our friends over at Daedalus Productions have created a watch it play dice tray based on this original frame and with a couple of upgrades. You have the same space to throw your dice into and that area to put your dice on. But that section also has a lid which lifts away for you to store dice, a pencil or whatever gaming accessories you'd like and then snaps back down tight with magnets so you don't have to worry about it coming off when you don't want it to. On the back, you'll also find our logos. They're there, but hopefully in a classy and not overwhelming way. For now, the gang over at Daedalus have committed to creating 50 of these for us to offer during our fundraiser. And we're doing this as a premium product for our top backers. In the future, we may also sell these separately, but I, I can't really say when that's gonna happen. Daedalus have their own production schedule to maintain with their custom insert products. So if you'd like to get one of these early releases, you can do so by donating at the top level on our fundraiser. If you have any questions about anything from this video or the fundraiser in general, just put them in the comments below and I'll gladly answer them as soon as I get a chance. But until the next episode, and hopefully for another year, thanks for watching.